Well, the world's creepiest porn lawyer has gotten very famous recently by attacking Donald Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen. That's probably been good for his business. On the downside, all of this has invited heightened scrutiny of his own past business ventures. Trace Gallagher has more on that. Hey, Trace. Hi, Tucker. When Tully's Coffee went bankrupt five years ago, Michael Avenatti's investment firm bought the company at auction for just over $9 million. Since then, the Seattle Times says Avenatti's company has been named in more than 50 state and federal complaints, including commercial lawsuits and warrants for unpaid taxes. Washington State lawyer David Nold says Avenatti carried out an illegal pump-and-dump scheme where he ran the Tully's Coffee shops, withheld state and federal taxes from his employees, but then and didn't pay his state and federal taxes. Avenatti responds by denying the claims and calling David Nold a quote, unethical hack of a lawyer, despite the fact that the Washington State Bar Association says Nold has no record of ethical or other violations. But Michael Avenatti also claims Tully's Coffee has long been under new ownership, and yet in court testimony last year, Avenatti reportedly listed himself as the chairman and principal of Tully's. And now we know Avenatti hasn't just faced business tax liens. We found records dating back seven years of personal tax liens, both state and federal, for $1.5 million, including a $300,000 federal tax lien from just three months ago. Tucker. Big lien. Trace, thanks. Quick programming note, last night we mentioned the creepy porn lawyer you've just been hearing about, the one you've seen on TV recently threatening people, and it got us thinking, so we checked. According to the Washington Free Beacon, between March 7th and yesterday, that guy appeared on CNN and MSNBC 108 times. That's according to one source. The real number could be higher than that. Anyway, it's a lot of CNN and MSNBC, and we thought we would add a little diversity to his media diet, diversity, of course, being our strength. So we invited the creepy porn lawyer onto this show. We called his office, or what he said was his office. It may have been a booth at a Wendy's in Passaic, maybe a White Castle, you never know. In any case, he turned us down flat. Too bad. Would have been fun. Maybe when Jeff Zucker tires of him over at CNN, he will reconsider our offer. That won't be long. We'd enjoy it. Instead, tonight, we're joined by someone who is not an actual porn lawyer, but has closely followed the career of the guy we were just talking about. Julian Epstein is a former chief counsel to Democrats in the House Judiciary Committee, and he joins us tonight. Julian, thanks a lot for coming on. So, Good evening, Tucker. There's a bit of a disconnect here. The argument from Democrats from day one has been that President Trump is too shady to be president. In order to make that case, they're now using a creepy porn lawyer with a history of financial problems. Is he really the best standard bearer for your message, would you say? Well, I, I think Michael Avenatti has been effective on television. I think he's been effective in, in advancing the interests of his client, and he's used television much more effectively than most lawyers do. I'm not sure he is the standard bearer for Democrats. I think he has, I, I think the Stormy Daniels issue, to be honest, I think Essential Consultants, I think, is a sideshow. Um, I think there, there is nothing in Essential Consultants' uh, story that we know where there's any laws that are necessarily broken, but I think there are relevant questions that should be asked about was essential consultants being used for a, a Russian slush fund, a campaign finance slush fund, for laundering money, or lots of things that people have kind of been breathlessly a alleging, but there's no evidence of. I think there's questions right. to be well, asked, there's no e but, but, but certainly I, no I, evidence of any legal violation. I'm but I don't really... think that's the central issue. I still think, if I can just finish the point, Tucker, I still yeah, yeah. think the central question here for Democrats, as far as Democrats are concerned, is whether the president knew or was actively involved in Russian interference in any way. And there's no evidence of that. I'm not saying there's evidence well, I, of that. There's I, by no the way, I agree, the but then why? The look, the, the, uh, I think that is a central question. Uh, there's no right. evidence more than a year in. Maybe we're going to find out that he teamed up with Putin to steal the election from Hillary. Probably not going to find that out. But for the point mm -hmm. right now, it's all about the creepy porn lawyer. And I'm wondering, like, what exactly is the point of this? I don't know what the interests of his client are. I don't know who he represents. I do know I'd be very uncomfortable if he got a hold of my confidential bank records, wouldn't you? Well, I, I think we need to find out how he got the information, for sure. I think there are questions there. But uh, to be honest, Tucker, I think your, your indictment is of the industry that you're a participant in, which is the cable television industry. I think it is the obsession of the cable television industry. I think Bob Mueller and the Democrats, for their part, 
are well, not cable, necessarily cable, obsessed hold on. about this, Julian, although it does raise money. Time. Cable Look, responds to ratings. I don't think he's been on this channel, as I just said, we tried to have him on the show because I, I want to meet this should. guy. He, and he should, he should right. come on this show. I think it would be amusing as hell, but he's too busy on the other channels who's viewers are responding that's why jeff zucker's put him on you know every day for two months so he really is one of the most famous democrats in america he's a partisan democrat he worked on democratic campaigns dozens of them so what does that tell you but i don't think that's where the democratic party is right now i mean i think what Avenatti is doing is relevant because it gets to whether there were campaign file, finance violations with the Stormy Daniels payment. It gets to whether Essential Consultants was being misused as a Russian slush fund, as a campaign finance slush but fund. But how would creepy porn lawyer loss. know those, about the Russian are, connection? Like, what expertise does he have? <laughs> I mean, is he like a Russian speaker well, or an expert on so Russian slush funds? Off, I don't want to get off subject, but Essential Consultants, Michael Cohen's law firm, was had a client whose principal beneficiary, whose principal benefactory, was a Russian oligarch connected to Putin. Right, no, now, I read so the story. So there are questions there, Tucker. What does that do with but let me just, I just want to make another okay. point. Yeah, I very make, quick. I, I want to make another point because I, I don't think that he is a standard bearer for Democrats. I think what Democrats are saying is not impeachment, not that Trump uh, violated criminal laws, but let's get the facts on the table. We know that people around Trump, okay, no, I've, people I've heard who this, were considered to be Russian let agents, me ask you, we're almost no up evidence ask... that Trump did that. Right, and maybe we'll find out again that you know he teamed up with Putin. Right. But, but that's and, and let me just ask are. you one last question, and, and okay. please answer honestly. Picture yourself sure. standing in your kitchen at night, getting one last glass of water <laughs> from the kitchen sink, and you look out into the backyard, and there's creepy porn lawyer. How do you respond? Well, I live in an apartment building, so I don't think I'd be able to see him if I looked Let's out Let's see you see him kitchen. in the alley outside. How do you respond? <laughs> What's your gut reaction? You see that guy in your backyard. How do you respond? I, I, I would invite Avenatti in because I'd have a lot of questions I'd like to talk to him about. If I saw Most anybody outside my... That way. <laughs> if, if, I, if I saw anybody outside my kitchen when I was having my last glass of water at night, of course I would be creeped out, so as would you. Of course I would. Yeah. But he that doesn't mean that he's category. not raising... Okay. It doesn't I'm, mean, Tucker, that he's not raising some <laughs> no, significant No, I'm not. You know what? I'm an open-minded man, as you know, Julian. I'm just, I'm just raising some important <laughs> questions, I think. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. <laughs>